We have a new Miss America, ladies and gentlemen. And she's a woman. <laughs> Born a woman. I can't believe I have to say that now, but I do. You know what? I competed in this thing many, many, many years ago. And uh, I, I was Miss New Hampshire and went on to Miss America pageant where I won the talent competition, including a special, special award for uh, the contestant with the most promise in the performing arts. You see, I wanted to be a singer, an opera singer. And it was given out by the widow of the man who wrote the theme song, There She Is, Miss America. So it was lovely. It was very nice to get. I won a ton of money. And it was really helpful for me in terms of paying for my school. I still had to take out student loans. But you know what? The Miss America Scholarship went very much uh, in a big way towards helping me make a dent in those things. So I, uh, I have a special allegiance to the pageant. I... I think that they are troubled in some ways, and I'd like to help them see through that. I think they're getting there. I think they're getting there. You know, last year I judged it, and I uh, was instrumental in selecting a wonderful young woman from the University of Wisconsin who was studying nuclear engineering. And regardless of what you think about nuclear engineering, I mean, this girl had me when she walked in the room and she said, look, if we really want to have clean energy, then we have to have a serious discussion about nuclear. And again, you know me. I like people who are willing to take a stand, like Jamie Dimon in Davos, like Javier Millet in Davos, president of Argentina, or like Miss America saying, you know what? You guys want to talk about green energy? Great. Let's talk nuclear. So she was a nuclear physicist. I mean, wow, right? <laughs> and she was a talented violinist. And I was very proud to have a hand in selecting her. Well, they just got a new Miss America. And this one's great, too. She's wonderful. I mean, this woman, wow, like, like she does it all. I mean, she really does live up to the name Miss America, right? Because she is a Harvard graduate <clears throat> and a fighter pilot. There she is, crowned and everything just happened the other night. There's the whole court. You know, a lot of people have a problem with this. I can tell you there. So there's Grace. There's Grace, who I had a big hand in, in selecting. Maybe she's putting the crown on the new one. This is the new girl. And uh, last name is Marsh. And I'm really, really happy for her because, I, and I'm happy for the pageant. And I'm happy for young women everywhere. I'm going to tell you, in judging this myself, I was blown away. I was blown away by the talent of these young women. I mean, incredible, not just like whether they were musically talented, but just intellectually talented, their accomplishments. A lot of them had started foundations. I mean, it just blew me away. I'm like, what was I doing when I was 19? A whole different ball game right now. Like they're way more talented. They're actually, I mean, I think, I don't know why, I, you know, what's going on? Like what's, what's in the water? That's what I was thinking as, as I was interviewing them because one after another just blew me away. They're all so so, so incredible. One woman, I don't want to get this wrong, but I mean, she was like a Goldman Sachs analyst in asset management, an economics major, an amazing classical pianist. She spoke fluent Mandarin. I'm like, oh, I'm getting dizzy, okay? And they're all beautiful. So it's nice to see sort of a return to roots. The Miss America pageant was created, actually, it was just it's capitalism because they, they wanted to keep some people in Atlantic City for an extra week after Labor Day at the boardwalk. And so they're like, how can we do this? Oh, we'll come up with a pageant, bathing beauties. Everybody will come and like, they'll stick around. And they did. And so that became a tradition for many, many, many years. At one point there was a little splinter. There's a little inside trivia knowledge for you guys. The Miss Universe, the Miss USA pageant started because there was a Miss America who was an opera singer who said, you know, I don't really think I should go around in a swimsuit at every single appearance. Can we like maybe just put me in a dress? And they're like, no, 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 we can't because our sponsor is a swimsuit company, Catalina. So they took the uh, pageant, the, the sponsorship, Catalina did, and they said, we're going to create our own. We'll create Miss USA and we'll create Miss Universe. And so you know the story there. It was actually bought by somebody who identifies as female, let me make sure I get this right, identifies as female, but was born as a male, has been very successful, I think as a reality star in Singapore. And so this person bought the Miss Universe, and I guess the whole Miss USA system. And now, you know, there's, there's a lot of um, interesting things happening over there. Good news, Miss Universe is still female. And Miss America, I can guarantee she's always going to be female. When I signed my contract, I, I like nearly fell over laughing. I'm like, seriously, these people were ahead of their time. 
I had to sign a clause that said I had been born female. Not only did I have to sign a clause saying that, I had to actually, I had to actually, it was really, really funny. I had to not just sign that clause, but actually provide documentation. Mm -hmm. Birth certificate with a big giant F on it for female. <laughs> like I said, ahead of their time. This was like 30 years ago. Wow. Anyway, so we have a new Miss America. It's great news. I am really excited for her. She gave a, a brief little speech. And um, what a story. I mean, what a story. Her mother died very, very young. She's clearly a very driven young woman with the fighter pilot thing and Harvard. But let's listen to her. My purpose today is to be a voice for my mom. I lost her on November 1st, 2018 to pancreatic cancer when she was only 41 years old. I really struggled to find happiness. So the first step that I took was starting the Whitney Marsh Foundation. That first step in the past five years have prepared me for today to share the life and the joy of my mom, to hopefully become the first ever military member crowned Miss America, and to provide hope for the pancreatic cancer and the American Heart Association communities. I'd be honored to serve as Miss America. And I mean, term. this is just fantastic. And you know, it's great to see a military member. By the way, remember they used to do the USO tours? This is going to be like USO tours on steroids. I'm seeing a good opportunity for the Miss America pageant. Get on those USO tours. Play up the military. Let's bring back some patriotism, for goodness sakes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring back some of those values that have made us who we are.